all right today we are going to talk about water and why water water is very vital to the living system why do we say that water has certain properties which makes life sustainable properties such as yes that's what we are going to talk about okay now boys and girls there is a virus spreading on okay it, it, it is really spreading also these days uh, when i was talking with a doctor he also mentioned me uh, this virus uh, is very is it is primarily atta attacking the gastrointestinal system and then if, if your body is dehydrated you have a tendency of developing this disease quickly so uh, make sure you have uh, enough water okay you consume enough water see this uh, this is also why water is really important to sustain life water plays a crucial role all right now uh, for your grade 10 uh, syllabus the lesson the first lesson start with uh, starts with the chemical basis of life where it also talks about various pre uh, specific uh, various properties of water more uh, preferably specific properties of water and they talk about four specific properties and in the exams when they ask you for the specific properties of water you cannot think about the various reasons and how water helps you and uh, just write what you what you come up with no now when even it is an exam you got to uh, be pre prepared okay pre -prepared, uh, prepared and you have to write what they what the markers expect to see on the paper or rather what's there on the marking scheme okay so you got to be uh, prepared in advance yes okay now uh, today what we are going to do is we are going to uh, realize uh, how water plays its role uh, in this process okay and uh, it says uh, boys and girls that life originated in water and the highest proportion of the body mass is also water okay anyone knows uh, yes what's the proportion of water to the body mass okay yes two-third two-third of the body mass is water to two-third of the body mass is water right now uh, in your syllabus if you're great in in your syllabus they talk about four specific properties of water namely the first what is the first uh, specific property they talk about yes being a good solvent being a good solvent water is a good solvent okay now also before that uh, let's try to understand the, the characteristic of water or, or the reason in which the water is able to elicit these uh, special uh, properties all right it is uh, mainly because of its uh, structure it's mainly because of its structure water has a simple structure okay water has a simple structure it is composed of an oxygen atom in the middle an oxygen at atom in the middle and you have two hydrogens bonded uh, with covalent bondings two hydrogen atoms are bonded, uh, bonded covalently uh, to the oxygen atom which is in the middle okay and if you talk also a bit further the electronegativity is high of oxygen than that of hydrogen now what electro uh, negativity is you get to learn when it uh, when you actually do the third lesson okay now for that for the time being i'll just say electronegativity is the ability to attract electrons from a bonded in a state of uh, when two atoms are bonded, uh, it can attract electrons from the electron cloud which is uh, between the two atoms. Yes, which, uh, which is uh, between the two atoms. Okay, uh, which are between the two atoms, it will uh, the oxygen will attract electrons if it's 
more electronegative and because of that attraction electro uh, oxygen has more electrons to its side lot of electrons are dispersed to the oxygen side and because of that it gets partially negative uh, oxygen gets partially negative or you could say slightly negative delta minus and because of that now uh, oxygen gets uh, partially negative and hydrogen gets partially positive and because of that we say uh, this bond is polarized and uh, as a result you could say uh, water is polar water is polar okay with that let's uh, talk in detail about the specific properties the first uh, specific properties uh, the first specific properties yeah. now what you really need to be concerned about is uh, rather remember in the fats rather remember uh, that water is a good solvent you got to uh, really uh, realize why water is a good solvent if you can realize what uh, if you can understand and get it inside your head okay like to feel it okay if you really uh, can feel why water is a good solvent you'll never you you wouldn't uh, forget that uh, water can act as a good solvent because you are properly grounded in your understanding okay which will make you which will make you able which will which will make you thousand times able for you to recall and understand okay to recall to recall and have it uh, to retain and recall okay to have it in your memory and you also need to be able to recall now water acts as a good solvent why yes water uh, the fact that uh, it says that water is a good solvent it also says that water lot of substances are dissolving water okay now what makes water a good solvent is its polarity just by just earlier we talked about water being polar and because of its polarity water is a good solvent because lot of substances are dissolved in it and thereby water can act also like the most preferable medium for biochemical reactions uh, is also water and also for extracellular uh, fluid now you have a cell and out of the out of the cell uh, there are fluid also and uh, we call it extracellular fluid and for extracellular fluid also the component main component is nothing but water okay so first thing you got to remember is water acts as a good solvent because of the polar nature of water you can conclude saying that uh, water can also act as a good solvent okay let's move further now uh, tell me another specific property of water yes yeah water can act as a good coolant right now why and uh, what makes water to be able to act as a good coolant yes the reason being water has a high specific heat capacity high specific heat capacity what does it mean what what's the difference between this a okay we say the word specific what's the difference between specific and what if i say heat capacity what's the difference between heat capacity and specific heat capacity that's what something you got to know okay uh, most of the boys uh, they write or uh, most of the students they write what do they write they write uh, water has a high heat capacity is it true you you, ca you cannot say it's wrong you cannot say it's wrong but is it what they are expecting in the exam no they are expecting the word specific and the word specific makes all the difference all right uh, specific what's the difference between the specific heat capacity and the high uh, and heat capacity yes heat capacity is the amount of heat which can be absorbed and uh, specific heat capacity is the amount of heat which is needed to raise what to raise the temperature by one unit of a mass of one unit preferably in kilograms okay to raise the heat of uh, by one unit 
in a unit mass is what you call specific heat capacity but for heat capacity you don't you're not talking you are not being specific when you have a high specific heat ca capacity it means that uh, the solvent you're talking about can absorb more heat okay some might have seen mostly for old vehicles they also put water in the radiator they just put water in the radiator why now the word radiator is really hot and you pour water in the radiator uh, when you ask for the reason they say water cools it down water is able to cool it down because it has a good cooling property now when water has a high specific heat capacity it also means that water can absorb more heat now when there is a heat up object when you pour water on it water absorb heat from that heated object water absorb heat from that heated object and because water can absorb a lot of heat and uh, when water absorbs uh, the heat that heated objects becomes co uh, because it cools down okay the heated object cools down so that's why we say water can act as a good coolant now once again what is the reason for water to it has a good coolant yes high specific heat capacity now uh, to maintain a constant body temperature what is really essential see because water can absorb uh, a lot of heat and uh, with sweat with sweat when sweat evaporates out from your skin it also carries heat along with it and that's one of the ways in which the body also can uh, maintain a constant body temperature right we could say thermal regulation now these properties uh, are elicited by water because of what high specific heat capacity okay now uh, can i also hear another specific property of water high cohesive and adhesive forces what do we mean by high cohesive and adhesive forces cohesive is the forces between a water molecule and another water molecule they have an attraction in between okay for that attraction we call it cohesive all right and adhesive is the attraction between a water molecule and the uh, wall okay now we can really uh, understand this if when we talk about transpiration in transpiration water travels up the yeah plant uh, the water travels up the plant and water for water to travel up the plant it has to go up as a column yeah it has to go up as a column now for cohesive forces makes it a uh, cohesive forces make it able to uh, water to travel up the up as a column why water a uh, one water molecule and a water another water molecule has uh, have a force in between and then because of that water is attracted to one another okay it is attracted to one another and not which is cohesive and also there are bonds there are forces between the water molecule and the wall of the plant and because of that also it makes it able for water to climb or to move up the plant now cohesive forces arise because water has intermolecular forces molecules of water has intermolecular forces now these intermolecular forces children are formed because of uh, the polarity of water okay uh, uh, you remember i we, to, uh, we uh, told earlier that water uh, in water there's oxygen uh, in the uh, middle and there are two hydrogen atoms uh, covalently covalently bonded oxygen is slightly electro negative hydrogen now is slightly electro uh, positive okay oxygen is slightly negative hydrogen is positive now when this hydrogen is positive there can also be another oxygen which is slightly negative of another water molecule uh, or oxygen is here another uh, hydrogen and an, uh, another hydrogen two hydrogens are also bonded there now uh, between the uh, oxygen here which is slightly negative and the hydrogen here which is slightly positive of the other 
water molecule there can be a interaction in between you know uh, opposite charges they attract so there can be an attraction and because of such attractions i mean for those uh, attractions we call them intermolecular forces because of these intermolecular forces now water can act as a yeah water in water there are good cohesive forces and because of those cohesive forces water can travel up a plant easily uh, when it comes to uh, transpiration all right so we can uh, as for the third specific property we can say cohesive and adhesive forces all right there is one another final uh, and also important uh, specific property of water which is differential expansion in freezing differential expansion in freezing what's differential expansion in freezing yeah who knows what's differential expansion in freezing now it is also tied up with a significant uh, uh, natural phenomena okay now uh, during the winter season these lakes they all are frozen all right when uh, the, you might have also seen in uh, films okay now a boy and girl uh, walks on a frozen lake okay maybe couple of friends let's say are walking on a, on a frozen lake and all of a sudden from uh, most of the time this happens in uh, the horror films you you walk around with a couple of friends on a probably you ice skate and then all of a sudden the ice cracks on the of the top of the uh, lake and you fall down and when you fall down you can see there's water in the lake there's water down the ice layer now if the top is frozen how come water liquid water is down yeah so that is because of differential expansion in freezing what happens is now uh, if this is the lake okay if this is the lake water when water gets uh, fro frozen uh, so when uh, uh, let's say when ice is formed when ice is formed even from the bottom when ice is formed uh, ice travels up to the top okay when ice is formed ice travels up to the top why because when ice is formed the density uh, since it will expand the density will reduce and because the density will reduce it will travel up and it will travel up and then it will be uh, formed ice will be formed on the top of the lake okay or on the surface okay it will get to the surface and first the surface area i mean the surface will uh, be frozen okay now there is a hard layer on top of the lake on the surface right and down the surface everything is uh, you could say they are, they still remain liquid now it the fr freezing starts from the top of the surface right that's what it, that's the natural phenomena which is uh, which is a really important uh, situation why if if it's if that's not happening what happens to all the aquatic organisms they all they all die they all vanish because if water uh, starts freezing from down the fish the plants they wouldn't be able to survive all right so with that is a massively important phenomena when it comes to nature and that is uh, possible because of water uh, the specific property of water which is the differential expansion in free when water is frozen they expand and in ice the density of ice is less than liquid water and the ice travels up to the top layer and gets frozen they are they are by making uh, and sustaining the lives of aquatic organisms so let's uh, shall we summarize the four specific properties of water we started with water being a good solvent and then we talked about how water can act as a good coolant and then the cohesive and adhesive of uh, what forces of water and lastly uh, what differential expansion in 
freezing okay now for the exams uh, when they ask you uh, to name the specific properties of water please don't write anything else just write these uh, four specific properties and also like uh, don't just remember like this understand the reason behind them and what why what is able to do such a thing and you will never forget it